Dennis Calcutt. Elam Turmel. Vincent Porco. Zachary Robin Calcutt Turmel. January 14, 1939. September 28, 1969. Game of Shania, Mojurad, April 17, 2004. February 15, 2007. I grew up in St. Justin de Newton. I grew up in LaSalle. I grew up in Laval and La Quai de Chemin. St. Leonard. Montreal. Point Claire, Quebec, Canada. Well, do you need something very special? It could be with anything. Anything. I remember we bought a house. I was about three. And they were fixing it on the outside. They were putting um, brick. And we had an, a bathroom installed. Because in those days, nobody had indoor, indoor plumbing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that, yeah. My blue, dark blue tricycle gleaming in the sun in my driveway. I must have been about three. À huit mois, je me souviens d'être dans mon berceau, dans ma basinette, mon lit de bébé, puis que je regarde ma sœur à droite, puis je dis, hey, ça c'est ma sœur, puis hey, ça c'est mon pyjama. Je me souviens à huit mois comme de réaliser que je m'étais comme incarné dans un bébé. Uh, probably seeing my own shadow. I don't know. <laughs> Think. Well, it's okay if you don't remember. Is that uh, I, remember I mean, I remember like whispering swear words in my friend's ears in like grade one, grade two. <laughs> My father was um, afraid of bicycles. He didn't want us to have a bike because we were such an, a, an a highway. So he bought us a Shetland pony, oh, yeah. a little horse with a, with a summer cart and a winter sleigh. And we had more fun with that, you know. Was his name Jewel? His Bijou? name was Jewel. Yeah. Bijou. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of really good memories. Uh, my favorite memories are all jumbled up. They're pretty much all inclusive of my friend Brian. Just walking over to his house, just enter, going to his house, him coming to my house, having popsicles, playing outside, playing every sport imaginable. They're all together, but it was my neighbor, so they're all intertwined. I don't have one that stands out. Je courais le quartier avec mes mes amis. Je pense que les amis quand on est enfant c'est bien important, tu sais. Fait qu'on on passait d'une piscine à l'autre, d'une maison à l'autre en serviette, dans la rue, puis. Des, des, toutes nos aventures de d'amis là, de petits amis. Ouais. Well, probably like learning how to ride a bike or swimming for the first time. Like those two things. Probably getting Oreo yeah. in the car. Me and you. She was in the middle. Yeah. Or is her dog, by the way. <laughs> She's nine. My best friend was Michelle Berio. Brian. Je pense que dans ce temps-là, quand j'étais à Laval, avec mes voisines, Véronique puis Marge, c'était mes meilleurs amis. Uh, probably like. Harley. Like for most of your childhood, like at the German school. I mean, I never really had a best friend, but it was always two of the two, Elias and Lance, my friend from Elias and Lance. No, I don't talk to Michelle. I haven't seen her since since we left St. Justine, you know, yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, je parle à Véronique un peu. Yeah. Elias, yes. Very, you were still very close to Elias, not, not I haven't spoken to Lance in years. Love my parents. Yeah, I was very. Uh, we had a very, very happy childhood. Very happy. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I thought they knew everything. I thought they were omnipotent. I realized they weren't, but I thought they were. Ben, je pensais que mes parents ils l'avaient l'affaire, puis que c'était des bons modèles, puis qu'ils étaient trop sévères, par exemple, que moi je serais une meilleure mère. Mais euh, non, j'avais confiance en eux. Mm. Uh, tall. Mentally, not physically. Like, all you thought of them was that they were tall? Oh, yeah, I don't really care. <laughs> I was a kid. 
I mean, from the years one till five, I was fine with them. Like, there I was happy with my parents. When I was six, I was mad at them. <laughs> and then when I was seven, I was fine. Or eight, I was fine. Uh, they, I, I love my parents. I still love them to, like, a lot. <laughs> uh, a couple of years ago, uh, about three years ago, we went. I think yeah, so. About three years ago, yeah. Um, last week? J'étais retournée une couple de fois voir ma maison d'enfance, puis euh, la dernière fois, euh, la maison était comme euh, sur un terrain double, tu sais. que j'avais la maison, puis à côté, il y avait un terrain badminton, une petite piste de ski qu'on avait faite moi puis ma soeur. Puis il y avait une piscine creusée. Puis la dernière fois que j'étais allée, on avait tout vendu ça, puis il y avait mis une autre maison. Fait que tous les beaux souvenirs, le beau grand jardin, tout ça, c'est parti. Fait que euh, je suis jamais retournée, puis ça, ça fait être à peu près euh, cinq ans de ça, à peu près. Oh, two weeks ago? No. Yeah, you're here now. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm 16, so. No. Well, some some is, but it's it it looked abandoned to me, you know. Yeah. Pretty much, people are different. Houses are the same. Well, the quartier is essentially the same. All the same houses, the same neighbors. Maybe there are some renovations, of course. But I know there are still some neighbors who live there. Uh, not really. What changed? My car got shot. And uh, there isn't as many Italians. <laughs> no, house is a lot different. A lot more like lived in. I feel like. Oh well, yeah. Like before, it was like all new, and like but now it's like used. Yeah, I love our personalities around. Yeah. Um, being free, playing. We'd be outside all the time playing. You know, uh, we had skating rinks next door. We had. It's, I miss that. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing. Une espèce d'insouciance euh, par rapport au futur, tu sais, juste apprécier le moment présent, euh, juste comme chercher du fun puis que tout était occupé pour moi, tu sais, tout le monde, maman s'occupait de tout là, tu sais. L'insouciance. Probably like being like too like stupid to understand my own mortality, so just doing like dumb shit all the time. It's probably really fun, like jumping through people's windows and just like sitting at the bottom of a pool. <laughs> you jump through people's windows? Once, once, yeah. I jumped through a guy's window. No responsibilities. I could just do anything I wanted with like little to no consequences. My biggest fear was the dark. My parents dying. J'avais vraiment peur de pas avoir d'amis puis personne même. Probably the probably just like straight up getting murdered by someone. Probably getting my parents mad. Yeah. Or like. Like like the school blowing up, I don't know why somehow. <laughs> <laughs> I had pretty imaginative. I was pretty imaginative. Was like, no, no, I'm not afraid of the dark, but I'm afraid of heights. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. My kids dying. Maintenant, maintenant c'est que mes enfants morts, sont malades ou ouais, c'est surtout mes enfants. Failure probably. Probably same thing. Death. Like just dying, like stupidly, you know, like falling stupidly. down, stupidly. Uh, I, I just forgot the L. Like, like falling over, like a tall, like a tall structure, like on head first would be how I would die. I feel. Good or bad? Anything. Well, the first death in the family. That's about the only thing I can think of because there's, there was no drama in my life, really. You know, so this was probably the only thing mm. that I can think of. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's, yeah. it's, it's whatever. It doesn't have to be. I'm not. There's no guidelines. You can say whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. I've witnessed a lot of things. Um, some of the craziest things I saw. I saw scaffolding fall and three guys die in front of me. That was pretty nuts. Also, the riot, the Guns N' Roses and Metallica concert was pretty crazy because we were standing behind the riot police, and people were trying to attack the riot police, so we we're in the wrong position to be. That was pretty intense, but. Uh, Honestly, I've had a lot of pretty big memories. But yeah, I'd say those two. Moi, j'ai déjà vu un gars qui sortait d'un bar. On était sur Mont Royal Saint Denis sur le plateau. On était sorti dans un bar. Je pense que c'était l'Esco, l'Esco Griff, Mara. Tu connais peut-être. Non. Puis c'est, euh, on sort du bar, puis on voit un gars se faire frapper par un taxi dans le plein milieu de la rue. Mais le gars était sous, tu sais. Fait qu'il se fait frapper par un taxi. Il se relève. Il dit, je suis correct, je suis correct, je suis correct. Puis l'ambulance arrive de l'autre bord pour l'aider. Puis elle le frappe parce qu'il était comme. Euh... Fait qu'il s'est fait frapper par le. le... Le taxi se relève, il se frappe par l'ambulance, il se relève. Je suis correct, je suis correct, je suis correct. Covid happened. That was pretty huge, I think. I don't know. A lot of crazy shit happens. I mean, Covid. I mean, Covid was pretty crazy, but 
It was like surreal. No one really truly believed it was happening if they didn't get caught. I feel like, like it's just numbers, it doesn't feel real. So I don't know if that could really count. It can. I guess when I was, uh, when I was about 10, yeah. I'll go back to when I was uh, 14. À 16 ans, le fait voyage en Italie, c'était mon premier voyage en Europe. J'aimerais ça retourner là. I remember my third birthday being pretty cool at a Buzz Lightyear pinata. When I was like five. Why? Five, four, four, five. Because so I was still like, I was still back in, back in the day. I was still the fastest kid in soccer. I was like skinny. I was I was like, I was a prodigy. Well, you're still in shape now. Yeah. For... A teenager. Yeah. Yeah. Depends. I'd be, uh, I'd go back to being a teenager if I retain all the knowledge and, and the uh, emotional maturity I have now. If not, I wouldn't change the age I am now for anything. Adulte, c'est vraiment plus avantageux. Ouais, t'as plus de capacité, plus d'autonomie, plus de reconnaissance de la société. Mais physiquement, dans mon corps, j'aimerais ça avoir mon corps de 16 ans. It's definitely not a teenager. So I'd just be sweaty all the time. Probably like, probably an adult. I can grow up for the rest of my life. Growing up? Easily grown up. Because I'm... Um, brain's fully developed. I'm assuming an educated grown up. Yes. 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 Ouais, ouais, vraiment. Je trouve que... J'ai comme euh, une ouverture par rapport à tout ce qui peut arriver. J'essaie toujours de voir les bons côtés dans tout ce qui se passe. Fait que je suis rarement down. Euh, J'ai deux beaux enfants en santé. Puis j'aime comment ils se comment ils font leur vie, ça, ça me, ça me donne beaucoup l'impression que, que je, je réussis ma vie dans un sens, euh, Je trouve qu'il y a beaucoup de choses à découvrir sur la planète Terre. Fait que, on dirait que j'ai jamais fini de découvrir puis d'apprendre, puis que tout est possible. J'ai toujours l'impression que tout est possible. So far, yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I think I have good potential for pretty much everything in my life. I'm trying to build on it. My inner child has never changed. I'm still inside, I'm still the same. So it's, yeah, yeah, there's nothing, nothing really that I would change. Oh, of course, we always have little things, but I mean, nothing, no, I wouldn't change anything, right? Yes. My inner child, he mange beaucoup ses émotions. C'est pour ça que j'ai encore du gros à mon âge. Puis, euh, je pense qu'elle est contente parce que c'est j'ai une vie créative, j'ai une vie de liberté, j'ai une vie que je fais ce que je veux. Mais je pense qu'elle est encore un peu stressée par des affaires que je pourrais me libérer. Là. I never really thought of that, but I mean, I don't know, I'm still playing video games, so I'm sure he's chill. My inner child would be crazy happy if he saw that I was 16, like the age, because it was such a big number when I was like nine. Crazy. I would, I would be crazy.